Here it is, the Sandcrawler Droid Factory playset, Disney Parks exclusive. You got to go to the Disney Parks or you got to go on eBay. Uh, this thing goes for $100 in the parks on eBay. It's going for about $150 uh, free shipping, which is pretty fair. It's about uh, over 19 long, uh, over 9 tall, and over 8 wide comes with the Jawa and the Gaunt Droid shown. Takes three AA batteries for all kinds of sounds and it comes with the three batteries. I'm not gonna show you the box, I'm just gonna read a little bit from the box. It says, sand crawlers are huge treaded fortresses used by Jawas as transportation and shelter. The sand pitted vehicles, many meters in height, are equipped with a magnetic suction tube for sucking droids and scrap into their cargo chambers. All right, very good. It's got a lot of features. I'm gonna skip the box this time. I hope you appreciated the montage. There'll be a little surprise at the end. Now let's check out the features. Let's take a look underneath this sand crawler. Four treads, two wheels per tread, a very loud speaker, three AA batteries go in there. There's our little special tube we'll be looking at in just a bit. Here's the on off switch. It is off now. The middle, that would be the demo and up is on. Let's turn it on and let's show you what we do when you push it. Yeah. Sounds like a sand crawler. A feature of this vehicle is a retractable claw. The front door opens just like so, and you can pull out a claw just like this on the track. It can slide on the rail where the rail can go in. Now let's take a look at the gonk droid here. It's got a hole at the top. Uh, this is a great figure. It's pretty darn good. Uh, the gonk droids made by Hasbro, as we know, uh, the legs were permanently like this because there was a, a walking feature and it stunk because the gonk droids could not stand. Uh, this droid has no problem standing. I love the detail. The detail is right on par with Hasbro. This is an excellent figure. And why it's got the hole? Well, because there you go. Let's take a look at the buttons in the back. All right, these are sound buttons, and this controls the cockpit lights and the headlights. It's a lot of sounds.
Every Jawa sound you would ever need. All right, now let's take a look at this one with the front. Let's see if I can get this. So, headlights on. All right. And if I can get this off here. Let's dim the lights a bit. There's the lights in the cockpit. It's a well-lit cockpit. You can see the lights there. And you can have the uh, headlights on as well at the same time. All right. Or you can just have the headlights and not the cockpit, I believe. Yeah. So just headlight, I'm sorry, just cockpit and no headlights. And headlights and no cockpit. All right, let's take a look at the suction tube. Let's see if it's going to take our favorite astromech droid. Get in there, R2. All right. While we're at it, let's take a look at this Jawa. I'd say it's pretty good. It fits in nice with my Hasbro Jawas. I actually like it a lot. Uh, his straps are in the sculpt. He has ball joints on the shoulder. There is no elbow articulation. There is rotation at the wrist. The head has no articulation. Uh, the feet, I don't know if you can tell there, there's really not much going on. They don't rotate or anything. Uh, there is a holster with a Jawa blaster, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So it's a pretty good figure. It'll fit in nice and just give some variation to all the Jawas we have. Nice texture there. I don't know. I mean, Disney making some cool toys. They made uh, the Star Tours vehicle ooh, a few years ago now, and I have one of those. I might do a review of that one day, but I love that vehicle, so... Uh, they make nice vehicles. All right, let's take a look at the left side of the crawler. It opens up. It does not come all the way down, so it's not a ramp. It stays level. Uh, but there's our 2D2. There's our Jawa. I will show you some features inside in just a bit. And so we have this ramp. And then again, the front ramp comes down, giving us two ramps and lots of access to the interior of the crawler. Okay, I'm trying to show you the inside of the crawler. Above that first Jawa, there's a deck and you can put a little Jawa upstairs. It's a little tight, but it works. There's also a furnace right there. Uh, there's a button to the right. Let's see what happens. Very cool. Let's try to get a better shot of that. Hey everybody, there's a trap door inside this thing with some Star Wars writing. I don't know what that says. Can you guys let me know in the comments? I'll show you right here what it does. You just lift it like this. You can put some dudes in. Uh, we can put our 2D2 in, I think. Let's go, R2. You're going down. And when you put them in, just like so, all right, you can still get out this way through the front of the crawler. So, pretty neat. Let's take a walk up the ramp and see what those pesky Jawas see. I'm going to say something I rarely say. Good job, Disney. That's right. Good job. This is $100 in the park. I mean, look at it. 
It completes our collection. All these Jawas look amazing with it. I think I need more Jawas now. I mean, I don't think I have enough. Uh, it, it's a great size. I know it's not to scale, but it's bigger than anything we got before, and it does look amazing with the figures. Good job, Disney. Good price point. Good quality. A lot of electronics that actually uh, mean something and are relevant. Wow, I'm blown away. Uh, go out and get this, guys. Go out and get this one if you're at all interested. Don't hesitate. All right, if you're new to my channel, hey, please subscribe. We would love to have you. I'm doing this sort of thing all the time. And for my current subscribers, thank you so much. Please have a happy and safe New Year. I'll see you soon. And I will see you on the new.